Hello, good afternoon. Dozens of cannabis plants were found by police investigating a gas explosion at a house in Birmingham. The blast knocked out windows and doors of the home in Copthorne Road in King Standing at the weekend. A 30-year-old man is in hospital after suffering serious burns. He's due to be questioned after officers found 40 plants in a loft and a bedroom. An arson attack caused a major fire which broke out at a derelict building at an old Wensfield High School campus overnight. Fire chief said the blaze started in the dining hall area of the building in Lakefield Road, which had been boarded up as it was due for demolition. Crews are still at the scene damping down this afternoon, but are expected to finish off in the next few hours. Hundreds of jobs have been saved at collapsed mobile phone chain Phones For You. The Staffordshire firm went into administration last week, throwing the future of staff into doubt. But Vodafone has said it will buy 140 of the stores, saving almost 900 jobs, while mobile network EE is set to buy 58 stores, saving another 350 jobs. Administrators say they are still talking with other potential buyers. A £1 million appeal to help pay for a new veterinary suite has been launched by the RSPCA in Leicestershire today. It's the biggest appeal in the branch's history. Entitled Care for Paws, the new centre will allow animals to remain on site for treatment instead of having to be transported around the region. The appeal was launched at Leicester's Woodside Animal Centre where staff said it would also help them to save cash. What it will mean to us is we will be able to treat up to four times the number of animals um, that we, than we currently do. So our money will actually go further and as a charity we have, to, um, we have to answer that call and it will be so much more beneficial for the animals. A five-year-old girl has become an internet sensation after Prince Harry came to her rescue. The prince lifted Isabel Nixon onto his shoulders after spotting that she was struggling to see her favourite band, the Foo Fighters, as they played the closing ceremony of the Invictus Games last week. Isabel's family, who are from Hereford, say she's now quite taken with the idea of being a princess herself. Time now for a look at the weather forecast for the rest of the day. Here's Manali Luca. Hello there, good afternoon to the forecast for the week ahead. Isn't looking too bad at all. Staying mostly dry, some showery outbreaks of rain perhaps for tomorrow night. It will be breezy at times, but some good spells of sunshine to enjoy as well. And that's certainly the case through the rest of this afternoon. Bright or sunny spells, not wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, some patchy cloud around at times, but feeling quite pleasant if you're going to be out and about. The winds are light, temperatures reaching highs of 17 or 18 degrees Celsius. And staying dry through the course of this evening and overnight. Clear skies, some pockets of mist forming across rural spots but tonight won't be quite as cold as it was last night and a fine start to Tuesday morning dry and bright little change into the afternoon although the cloud will start to build up a little bit and that's ahead of those showers as I mentioned through tomorrow night that clears through for Wednesday it's looking dry and fine bit more cloud for Thursday and Friday bye bye for now And that brings you up to date this lunchtime. There's plenty more as always on the website, itv.com slash central. Do check it out. Sam and Bob are back here at six o'clock tonight for the programme from the lunchtime team. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye-bye.